So the next question is, Gav, how do I improve my consistency with my swing and ball hitting? Basically, you've got to get the techniques right, okay? You've got to get that swing plane correct, you've got to get your grip correct, and you've got to get your body posture correct. If you don't get those three things correct, you are never going to hit the ball consistently, all right? And um, the, the big thing is, we talk a lot about um, the, the actual wrist and using the strong tendons of your wrist, that if you just, when you carry the mallet, you get it vertical in your hand, okay? That your hand is in that kind of shape and you've got the mallet in your fingers, not in your palm. Go to the videos on the grip and it's very explicit, the grip. Carry the mallet vertically so your hand doesn't get, uh, your arm doesn't get tired and your wrist doesn't get tired, all right? And when you take it back, the mallet has got to stay vertical in that takeaway so that as you take that mallet back, it stays vertical. Now drop the mallet head and make the swing and it's got to stay in plane. So if you've dropped that wrist to that shape, when you take it back, it stays in that shape. It does not move. So that you're basically cocking your wrist before you get to start your swing. So it's already cocked in the takeaway. So when you get to the back of the swing, now really pay attention to just getting the arc of the swing right. Don't let the mallet, um, don't let your wrist flop open at the back. Don't let it flop open where the mallet goes behind you. Don't close your wrist and hood it where the mallet head is outside. The mallet head has got to follow your shoulder hand line so that it's shoulder hand mallet head and now that swing will be in plane. There's no other way to get consistency. You've got to get the plane and all the, the grip, the swing plane, um, correct. If you don't do that, you're never going to get this um, swing working for you all the time.